a very good morning students so this is our next video tutorial on the same chapter force and pressure in the previous class we have come across the terms force and pressure and also we have seen some interesting examples based on pressure so in today's video we'll just recapitulate what we have learned in the previous class and also we'll move to the next topic right so we have learned in the next class that is what is force force is an external agency which can be in either in a form of push or a pull and we know when a force is applied on an object and if the object moves in the direction of the force the work is said to be done that is when we say a force is applied on an object and object is moving in the direction of force or in the opposite direction of force we say that work is said to be yes, done here that means work is done now next when we say that a force is applied on an object now the object is starts rotating that means the rotational force that is the turning effect of force is called moment of force or torque this torque is denoted by tau and it depends upon two factors that is force and perpendicular distance in the previous video i have given you example of the door opening a door now if the hinges are having a maximum distance from the point of application of force that means from the handles then we say that we have to apply a less force that means less pressure in order to open that door now if i consider that the locks or the handles are very close to the hinges of the door then we need to apply more force in other words we say that less moment of force is produced okay so torque depends upon two factor that is force and perpendicular distance next we have pressure pressure is defined as thrust per unit area or force at the per unit area okay both are same here that means force means here thrust generally thrust means is the perpendicular or normal force applied on an object so pressure equals to l by a and we'll see the si units of torque you see force SI unit is Newton and distance SI unit is meter. So we consider the SI unit of torque is what? Newton meter. And whereas the SI unit of pressure is Pascal. Or in other words, we say that Newton per meter square because force unit we have Newton and area we have meter square. Therefore, Newton per meter square. So generally, pressure depends upon two factors that is force. And next one is area we know pressure is defined as force acting per unit area that means if we apply more force then definitely a huge pressure will be produced whereas this pressure and area they are inversely proportional to each other now what is the meaning of inversely proportional here that means if area is increasing then it will reduce the pressure that means if pressure is increasing then it will reduce the area so likewise if one is increasing other is getting reduced generally pressure depends upon area here you see with the same force with more area where the area is large that means it produces less pressure with the same force if the area is less then it exerts more pressure so this difference or this relation of pressure and area has given a numerous application in our day-to-day -day life so one by one we'll come across what are the examples of this pressure in our day-to-day -day life okay so let us see first common example our feet go deep into the sand in desert on the other hand if we lie down on the sand our body does not go that deep now what does this mean you see in desert when we try to walk on the sand our feet generally sinks inside the sand we are unable to walk properly in the sand why it is so because you see our feet area is very less and we our whole weight of our body is acting on our feet now due to high pressure this goes or this pierces the sand and we sink inside but whereas you see if you lie on the sand that means you are not standing you are just in a sleeping position if you lie on the sand you see the total weight of our body will be distributed on whole over the sand 
so the pressure exerted our body will be equally or uniformly distributed and likewise we will not get sink inside the sand okay i think you have understood so when we are standing on the or when you are standing on the sand our feet sinks inside but whereas when we lie on the sand we don't get sink because the total pressure is uniformly distributed that's what we have written here our feet go deep into the sand in desert on the other hand if we lie down on the sand that means if you are in a sleeping position our body does not go that deep okay so from this example what we have understood that is pressure is inversely proportional to area if area is increased then the pressure will be less right so let's go to next example the feet of a person wearing hiking boots will sink in the snow on the other hand with wide base with larger area reduces the pressure and prevent feet from sinking into snow now the second example is saying that suppose now you are walking on a snow now when you are walking on a snow and your feet is not having a wide base likewise you are facing problem in walking in a desert same way you will be facing problem while walking on a snow also now if you have hiking boots hiking boots means the they are having their boots is having their boots are having spikes okay pointed ends now pointed end means you see the area is very less that means the whole weight of your body will be exerting on the boots and this will create a large pressure and you will sink inside whereas if you are slipper or the shoe which you are wearing is having a wider base then it will exert less pressure on the snow and likewise you will not get sink inside okay so whatever examples we will see now everywhere you will find that pressure is inversely proportional to area that means if the area of cross section is increased then we say the pressure is reduced so let's see with the next example here a thumb pin has large round base and pointed end so less pressure produces large pressure at the end now you see many of us have seen the thumb pin which we generally use you know placing the papers in the notice board right so thumb pin generally it looks like this right thumb pin now when you are applying here in order to put in the notice board that means this is a wide base now it will exert a less pressure in your thumb but with the same force which you are pressing it will apply a huge pressure here because it has a pointed end that means area is less and here area is more so if area is more it will exert a less pressure if area is more it will exert a less pressure that means you will find less hurt in your thumb but whereas pointed end that means with less area that it will apply more pressure then easily the pointed end will go inside the notice board right so here also we have seen that pressure is inversely proportional to area next we find that school bags have broad straps to reduce pressure school bags the belt of the school bags if it is thick enough then it will exert a less pressure on your shoulder but whereas if the school bag is having a thin belt that means the straps are very thin then it will exert a huge pressure on your shoulder so not only that you see suppose when we go to a market and we carry the carry bags right the bag which we get and if the bag handle is very thin then it will hurt your hands that means it will exert a huge pressure on your hand so here also we have seen that the pressure is inversely proportional to area okay so apart from these examples we have other examples numerous examples based upon this topic this is a very interesting topic you see camels we were unable to walk on the sand in desert because our feet was very small but whereas camel can easily move on the desert because they have broad feet so as they have broad feet they exert a huge uh, area they cover a huge area of the sand and the whole weight of their body gets redistributed on the sand and likewise as area is more area occupied by the feet of the camel is more than the pressure exerted on the sand is less so therefore they don't sink inside and they can easily walk on the sand right so other examples we will have 
that you see in the buildings buildings those who are you are uh, planning to make a five story building or six story or seven stories building then you need to make your foundation very well right the foundation is considered here very important factor now if your foundation is broad enough it is opening and it is covering a huge area then uh, whichever story you make that means that because of that pressure your building will not get collapse so foundation is very good so it is very important in in each and every field so likewise we have learned if our junior classes is the small classes we don't learn properly then we will face problem in the higher classes because the foundation is must okay so these are the factors and also we have seen knives knives has a pointed end now if your knife is blunt now it will be very difficult for you to cut the vegetables so the pointed end means area is less and with the same application of force it will produce a large pressure so due to huge pressure the veg vegetables will get cut easily so these are the examples we see now one more example i remember here you see the vehicles or the bicycles which you ride if the tires is not inflamed that means if the pressure of air is not there in your tire then you have to apply a more pressure in order to ride that bicycle that means when it is fully inflated that means if you pump the tire of the bicycle then it will be easy for you to ride that one otherwise you have to apply a more pressure on the paddling on the bicycle right so this also based upon pressure and area so these are the examples which is based upon pressure and area in each and every cases we see that pressure is inversely proportional to area if area is more the pressure exerted will be less so this is a desert example that is common example of pressure point number one okay point number two was the feet of a person wearing hiking boots will sink in the snow because of the pressure exerted by them but if they use a broad base that means did you see the snow is shoes here now if you wear the shoes then your feet will not get sink into the snow so next you see the shoes having narrow heels right so generally if a person is wearing this one and if he if she stepped in your feet then you will get more hurt but whereas a person wearing shoe having a broad base will step on you you will get less hurt with same reason so next we have the thumb pin which already i have explained you that a thumb pin has a large round base and a pointed tip so when you push the pin at its wide base it exerts a low pressure at your thumb due to large area and it will exert a huge pressure on the end due to small area so this was the thumb pin and the school bags the example of a school bag it should have a broad straps which reduces the pressure on your shoulder and camels have a broad feet this feet exerts very less pressure on the sand and therefore the camels feet do not sink inside and the foundation of high rise building are kept very wide that means the foundation should be very well otherwise the building the whole building will get collapse and similarly the heavy vehicles that carry loads such as trucks and buses have thick and wide tires to prevent it from sinking into the ground so this is also one of the reason and the edges of the knives and the axes should be sharp enough that means if it is sharp that means area will be less and it will be easy to cut the vegetables or any other object okay so it should be sharp enough so there is an activity you see the pencil cannot withstand in this position in the left hand side we have a this position the pencil cannot withstand but whereas the pencil in the other in the right hand side can easily stand having a wide base okay so it gives a stability also if the area is more then it gives more stability whereas if the area is less then it gives less stability so due to less stability it is more prone to get fall so the next topic we have atmospheric pressure so we know that there are different layers of atmosphere and we are surrounded of a mixture of air above us 
in this air we have nitrogen we have carbon dioxide we have water vapor we have oxygen we have hydrogen so different gases are mixed together now when we go from the earth surface towards the sky that is towards the space we find that the density of air gets reduced that means the pressure also depends upon height now when we go up straight up then we will find the availability of oxygen is less the same reason we find when we climb mountains when we go to high altitude the availability of oxygen gets reduced and due to that we feel dizziness or we feel some suffocation so likewise we we have found that there are different layers of atmosphere above us and when we go up the density of air gets reduced and due to which the pressure also gets reduced so what is the atmospheric pressure here that is the force exerted on unit area of a surface by the weight of the air above it that means the air which is above us they are exerting the, a force on a unit area of earth surface that means the force exerted by atmosphere on the earth surface is called atmospheric pressure you can define in this way also okay i repeat the force exerted by the atmosphere on a unit area of earth surface it is also called atmospheric pressure so this atmospheric pressure you see it depends upon the altitude so if you are on the earth surface then there will be a different pressure now when you go above the sea level so above the sea level that means at a certain height then you will find the pressure at that point to be as less so the instrument which is used to measure the atmospheric pressure that is barometer and there are different types of barometer so generally you see there are a simple barometer we have a bronze barometer we have aneroid barometer so these are the different types of barometer okay that one we will go detailly in later on so on the time being we have found that this atmospheric pressure it depends upon altitude so for this video only this much in the next video lesson we will come across the interesting examples of this atmospheric pressure and also we will solve the exercise questions so for the timing the homework for you the home task will be to copy all the all the notes what i have written on the board and as well as if you have purchased the book then you will find the related topics and note that topics as a note wise in your exercise book okay don't forget to write in your exercise book the copy will be checked as soon as the school gets reopened and if you have found that you have not completed your exercise book then you will not be given any test mark and moreover you will be detained in class 8 so be careful and complete your task on time do not keep any pending works so you might face any problem right at the end so there will be a huge task and there will be a less time and you know due to this uh, covid 19 pandemic there will be very less days left after the school gets reopened and your exams will be very near so do not keep any pending works complete your task on time okay so till then goodbye